by Russell. There's Freak. Rebound collected by Snell. Rockets shooting at a 32% clip from the field. They're just not executing. He feeds it to Brewer. Beasley outside. Let's it fly from 18. And that one's good. Beasley's got the lead up to two now for the Rockets. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Now here's Freak. His last outing, we saw him pour in 22. Russell dishes to Freak. Here's Randall, and Capella sends it back. 107 left to play here in the second quarter. Puts up a three. Rebound the Lakers. Kevin, I'll tell you, his three-point shot has looked awful here in the second quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of his slump, but he needs to give it a rest and try something else. Oh, that's blocked. That's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. And the first half comes to a close. Thank you, Kevin. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. Well, a good one here for Brewer. He's hitting field goals, three-pointers, using all that range he's got in his arsenal. And, and, Clark, you know that just wears defenders down because they have to follow him all over the floor. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. Taking a look at the Rockets. Harden out there with Brewer. Then there's Tony Snell, then there's Beasley, and it's Capella in at the five, roaming the paint. Here's Beasley, following the basket by Freak. Here's the screen, here's Brewer, and stolen by Russell. The pass to Freak. Off the left rim and out. The defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot. I mean, he doesn't miss many of them. Beasley, the pass to Harden. Takes a three. Brewer, good. Brewer's got the game tied up here for the Rockets. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. Freak kicks to Randall. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. That one is on Beasley. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. Lakers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Two shots. The first one falls. Both free throws, good from Randall. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. And a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Well, Kev, Freak, in the last matchup against the Kings, played some outstanding basketball. He finished with 22 points and hit the glass as well, coming away with nine rebounds. It was the kind of game that coaches love because he was a big factor in every play, it seemed. All right, Doris, thanks so much for the report. You had to just marvel, guys, at what he was able to do that night, didn't you? You know what? It was the game of basketball being played at its highest level. No, no question who their MVP was in that one. No question whatsoever, Greg. I mean, that's a performance he and his fans will remember for a long, long time. Here is Russell. James Harden picking up that last basket. The drive by Russell, and he gets it to go. Russell's got six. Their prowess inside has been tremendous, guys. I mean, it's been no contest down on the low block. And until the defense puts up a little more resistance, they ought to continue to pound them down low. Now, here's Brewer. 12 points for him. Capella kicks to Brewer. Beasley up top. Feeds to Harden. Beasley with the screen on Bryant. Again, the miss by Harden. Los Angeles leading by four. There's Freak. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. 
10 points for Freak. Everything going to play it here to start the third. 80% shooting thus far. It's Harden with the drive. Great pass to set up the lay-in. You always hear about chemistry. That's a perfect example, knowing where each other is at all times. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Russell dishes to Freak. It's Kobe Bryant on the way. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. And that one's good. Freak. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. You're right, Clark. Just continue to pound it in the paint and get those easy points inside. Now here's Beasley. Snell. Terrific design on the pick play. And he lays it in. Snell's got five points so far. Give an assist there, not for the pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed him up and made the layup possible. Russell kicks to Freak, and it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. Ilyasova, he's checked in for the Lakers. Williams comes in for Kobe. And then for Houston, Harrell comes in for Tony Snell. And it's K.J. McDaniels in for Brewer. Dishes it to McDaniels. And the foul called on Freak. That's his first foul. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. Freak in at center. Russell is out there with Kobe. Then there's Mo Harkless. And it's Randall in at the four slot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Decker with it. Now defended by Randall. Six to shoot. Kicks it out to Harden. Pulls it from the elbow. And it's Freak with the rebound. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. The shot by Harkless, no good. Yeah, great look, but disappointing with the miss. Boy, what happened on that one, Greg? I mean, that's... Almost an automatic shot for him. They get it back. Good on that shot. And with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut down now to just seven on the bucket from Capella. Randall is screen on Hart. From 11 feet away. Breaks a big height bounce and goes in. Freak's got the lead up to nine now for Los Angeles. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. No matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball in the paint. And it's a big key thus far in this game, Clark, because whenever they've gotten the ball in the paint, good things have happened. Decker with it, picked up by Bryant. Passes to Beasley. There's the screen. Top of the key, Booker. Kicks it out to Harden. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. And the dunk by Booker. And he just leaves the D in the dust and, and explodes to the basket. You're right. Uh, uh, Clark, maybe a momentum changer right there, huh? It could be, Kevin. I mean, a dunk like that can sometimes get an opponent reeling. What a performance. Just look at the game for free. 16 points, and boy, are his rebound numbers ever impressive. Clark, it's all guts and determination. That's really what rebounding's all about, and that's what's been on display here today. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. Tony Snell's checked in for Beasley, and it's Brewer in for Decker. They got to keep fighting their way to the line, guys. This half has been nothing but success for them there. Yeah, taking full advantage from the charity stripe. They've yet to miss here in the second. Now here's Harden. Now here's Brewer. Back to Harden. Releases. Misses off the right iron. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. To the paint. There's Freak. Rebounded by Capella. Capella's got his fifth rebound in this one. Harden outside. To the middle. Hooker the pass to Capella. He kicks it to Snell. Good on the triple. It has been a three-point barrage for them since halftime. Not sure if it's been by design or simply by accident, but either way, it has been impressive. Now here's Freak. 
Here's Randall. Rebounded by Capella. Capella's got six rebounds here tonight. Harden with it. Picked up by Bryant. Harden against Cope. Harden. Rebounded by the Lakers. Randall's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Russell dishes to Freak. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got his eighth assist here tonight. And he is the ultimate when it comes to being a floor leader on the offensive end. Yeah, you know, he's got a little bit of Greg Anthony in it. He has been that leader today. I think he's done a really nice job of moving the ball and, and distributing it the way it needs to be done. Yeah, well, Clark, I'm glad you referenced uh, specifically why you thought he had a little Greg Anthony. I thought you were talking about my knees, my man. <laughs> he, uh, he looked a little hobbled out there for a moment. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Hey, Kevin, well, the Rockets coach had some advice for the team over that last break. His message, don't even look at the score right now. We've got to make one play at a time and execute. That's how we'll take this thing home. Kevin, he's trying to keep them focused. And that's how it's done. I mean, find <laughs> that hole in the D and then go hard to the right. Maybe that hole was a little bigger than it should have been. Well, it was. I mean, a tight game like this one, you think they'd have a little more energy at the defensive end than that. Rockets trail by four. Kickstart. On the wing, Brewer. There's the feed to Snell. Get the shot. And the shot falls short this time. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. A bucket here would give them a bit more room. True, but, but no need to rush it. Play smart. The kick out to Bryant. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock, and so they choose to intentionally foul. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. At the line for two. And so both free throws are good, and it's a six-point ball game. And, and that will add to a healthy lead after that trip to the free-throw line. Twenty-nine seconds left in the game. Here's Capella. Sinks it. And now they trail by just four. That was some slick passing from Harden on that one. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. Sure. It's not over. Wow. This is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Steps back and fires. Can't get it to go. Some solid defense from Bryant. And so they foul intentionally. He hits the first one, and that increases their lead to six. Two shots. And he is unable to get the second one. Harden kicks to Brewer. Harden the pass to Brewer. Three-pointer, Snell. But they get it back. And so the Lakers take the win. It was up for... The win, the win, the win. That's all right. The win. Kevin. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Ernie Johnson here again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith. Freak. There's no doubt about it. This guy is a leader. He was in attack mode all night, calling for it and delivering in some big, big plays and baskets. His point total shows everything that I'm talking about. The defense was like, what am I going to do? And he was like, nothing, because I'm toying with you. That was Freak turning up the volume right there, baby, all the way up to 11. And the stereo only goes to 10, Ernie, but we're at 11 right now. The man himself may be quiet, but his performance spoke very loudly. And folks, that's it for us. Thank you for tuning in. Always a pleasure.